Welcome to this video on the skeletal system. In this video, we will be discussing the different types of bones in the human body, their functions, and how they work together to support our body. Bones are an essential part of our body, providing structure, support, and protection to our vital organs. They also play a crucial role in movement, allowing us to walk, run, jump, and perform various physical activities. Without bones, we would be unable to stand upright or move around freely. In this video, we will take a closer look at the skeletal system and understand how it works. The human skeletal system consists of 206 bones, which are divided into two main categories, axial and appendicular. The axial skeleton includes the skull, vertebral column, and rib cage, while the appendicular skeleton includes the bones of the arms, legs, pelvis, and shoulder girdle. Both the axial and appendicular skeleton work together to provide support and movement to our body. In the next segment, we will discuss the different types of bones in the human body and their functions. There are five types of bones in the human body, each with a unique shape and function. The first type is long bones, which are longer than they are wide and are found in the arms, legs, fingers and toes. Long bones provide support and movement to the body and are responsible for the majority of our body's movements. The second type is short bones, which are roughly equal in length and width and are found in the wrists and ankles. Short bones provide stability and support to the body and help to distribute weight evenly. The third type is flat bones, which are thin and flat and are found in the skull, ribs and shoulder blades. Flat bones protect vital organs and provide a surface for muscle attachment. The fourth type is irregular bones, which have a complex shape and are found in the spine, hips and face. Irregular bones provide support and protection to the body and are responsible for the movement of the spine. The fifth type is sesamoid bones, which are smaller and round and are found in the hands, knees and feet. Sesamoid bones protect tendons and improve their mechanical advantage. In the next segment, we will discuss the functions of bones in the human body. Bones perform several essential functions in the human body. Firstly, bones provide support to the body, allowing us to stand upright and maintain our posture. Secondly, bones protect vital organs such as the brain, heart and lungs. Thirdly, bones produce blood cells in the bone marrow which is found in the center of some bones. Fourthly, bones store minerals such as calcium and phosphorus, which are essential for maintaining strong bones and teeth. Finally, bones work together with muscles to allow movement and perform physical activities. The skeletal system and muscular system work together to create movement, with muscles pulling on bones to create motion. Without bones, our body would be unable to move or perform physical activities. In the next segment, we will discuss how bones grow and develop over time. Bones grow and develop over time, starting from birth and continuing until adulthood. In children, bones are still developing and growing, with the bones in the hands and feet growing first. As children grow, their bones lengthen and become thicker, allowing them to support their increasing weight and height. During adolescence, bones continue to grow and develop, with the bones in the arms and legs growing the most. The spine also undergoes significant changes during adolescence, with the vertebrae becoming larger and more complex. By adulthood, Bones have reached their maximum size and density, with the bones in the arms and legs fully developed. However, bones continue to undergo changes throughout adulthood, with bone tissue being constantly broken down and rebuilt. Weight-bearing exercises such as walking, running, and weightlifting can help to maintain bone density and prevent bone loss. Adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D is also essential for maintaining strong and healthy bones. In the final segment, we will summarize the key points discussed in this video. In this video, we have discussed the skeletal system and its importance in the human body. We have learned that the skeletal system consists of 206 bones, which are divided into two main categories, axial and appendicular. We have also discussed the five types of bones in the human body, long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, and sesamoid bones. We have learned that bones perform several essential functions in the human body, including providing support, protecting vital organs, producing blood cells, storing minerals, and allowing movement. We have also discussed how bones grow and develop over time, starting from birth and continuing until adulthood. Finally, we have learned that weight-bearing exercises, adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D, and a balanced diet are essential for maintaining strong and healthy bones. Thank you for watching this video on the skeletal system. We hope that you have gained a better understanding of the importance of bones in the human body. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.